the good thing about this meal plan is it's a lifestyle change and it's not just me waking up overnight filling myself with nothing but veggies fruits and just plain chicken no um it's just i take each meal as it comes and i just make sure i don't eat a lot of calories it has to be 600 or below so um we're going to texas roadhouse i went on to the uh texas roadhouse nutritional information pdf thing online and i looked at the calories for the things that i usually eat which is so many calories it's like probably around 1500 uh, i usually get an appetizer i eat like three rolls i get all kinds of food and i can't have that I love Amber. I really do. And I want Amber to live an extraordinarily long and fulfilling life. The problem with Amber is that for some reason she goes on these bullshit diets that never ultimately lead to any significant weight loss because she thinks it's supposed to be like a one and done thing where you hop on the diet and then after like, I don't know, a year at most, you're eventually going to lose like 100 or 200 pounds. And She's had to have been on every single diet you could possibly think of. When the reality of the situation is there's not one particular diet that's going to make you lose all the weight and it's going to be fulfilling for you all at once. No, it's not how that works, okay? I often say that diets are cool if they work for you, sure, but most people, it's not going to work for them. And especially for somebody, a girly, that's in her 500 pounds and she's been over 500 pounds for, I don't know, five, six years at this point which is crazy, by the way. Do you know how many calories somebody needs to eat in order to maintain 500 calories? Now, think about how many calories that is and then add more on top of it because Amber gains weight at five. <laughs> she gains weight at more than 500, 500 pounds, which is insane. But for somebody like Amber, a real deal comes down to just lifestyle choices, right? Understanding that sodas are not good. Understanding that water in your mouth is good. Understanding that you need to make better decisions, dietarily speaking, and fulfill the desires of the cravings that you're eating. And that's okay. Like, it's all right to have those days where your body slamming some QPs. And QPs, by the way, are quarter pounders for those people that don't understand what that is. Um, quarter pounders, which are the best thing on the McDonald's menu. I don't care what anybody says. I eat them. You probably eat them too. I don't care. There's some people out there that say the Big Mac is the ultimate McDonald's menu item. You're lying. You're real deal lying. Don't lie to me, dude. Stop lying to me. The sauce is just glorified mayonnaise that's slightly more salted. And uh, that's pretty much every single sauce too. You go to any establishment, they have that secret sauce. It's just mayonnaise that they put a little bit of salt into. And maybe, I don't know, maybe the, the, the Puerto Rican guy behind the counter did this with his hands and let a little bit of the grease and the the follicles and the the dandruff of his hands hit the sauce and you're getting a little bit of that maybe i don't know that like gives it a little bit more fulfilling to taste or whatever but most of the time it's just mayonnaise so if that's what you want to do that's what you want to do for somebody like amber she needs to real deal just hunker down and she needs to understand what diets and you know what's really interesting is that i think she does she has the information i mean obviously if you've been dieting for as long as amber has you need to know at least some things and she's educated to a certain degree but the problem is like she keeps putting yourself in these brackets of like, oh no, this is going to work for me. And maybe it works for like one week or two weeks at most. And then after that one or two weeks of solid, not growing, right? Where she's losing weight, eventually that plateau. And then she, you know, just completely obliterates all of the progress that she did have, which is really, really sad because if you see that on the scale, right? If you've seen that you lost 20 pounds in two weeks and you're going, this is, oh my God, I'm so great. This is so amazing. And then the next following week, you gain back 30 pounds, you're going to be like, dude, fuck this, dude. I'm not losing weight ever again. This is crazy. Kind of like a gay man that's deeply closeted, but he doesn't really want to be closeted. He doesn't want to be gay either. He loves women. Women are great. Women are awesome. Vaginal fluids all up and around his mouth. But anytime he ever talks to a girl, they always say the same thing. I want an MK purse. I need you to take me shopping. I want to go to the grocery store and look at the same aisle for 45 minutes. And I want you to look at me do it. And then I'm going to ask you the same questions eight different times. And then he's going to go, it's not worth it. I'm going to suck dick. And he doesn't want to suck dick. But you keep leading him to the process of indulging in the male genitalia. Feel bad. So... Taking away the bread, I'm not gonna have any of the rolls, I'm not gonna have any appetizer, I'm not even gonna have the usual meal that I usually get. So I'm That's actually, I mean, look, when you're going to a restaurant, I know people wanna have the full restaurant experience and that's cool, but 
it's not practical. How much are appetizers anyway? Like $8, $9 for an appetizer? For what? For what? What are you even getting? Like spinach dip on some tortillas? Whatever you want to do. But most of the time, you're literally eating like an extra four, three, four to 500 calories of just nothingness. I mean, it's just deep fried chips. So with, a, I guess, a little bit of spinach sauce. And by the way, just because it says spinach in the name doesn't mean that's like the primary composition of that particular item. You know what I'm talking about? It's not how that works. I'm going to get a sirloin. Actually, I'm just going to show you guys. My Steak is pretty good. If you want to look, I'm not one of these people that sits there and says that you need to eat chicken, rice, and broccoli for the rest of your life. If you want to put a piece of red meat in your mouth, the, the evidence that, that we have nowadays and all the statistical whatever science behind it has shown that red meat is not as bad as people once thought it was. And the fat on the red meat is pretty good. And I've always loved to suck down the sweet fat on top of that cow, right? And that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. It's a, there's a way to eat steak and burger and all this other stuff. If that's what you want to do while in a calorie deficit, you just got to be a little bit more aware about it. Get there, but... <laughs> Mashed potatoes? Oh, uh, you know what? These ain't. That's not too bad. It's not too bad for mashed potatoes. You know, two two forty nine. But I also want to point out that you can probably buy a five pound bag of potatoes for about five bucks. So thinking about this, that's crazy. Green beans is one hundred. Two hundred and twenty calories, by the way. Damn. Um, you know, it's not too bad ordinarily, but you got to look at it within the scenario of uh. <laughs> Uh, of Amber Lynn. Like, should she be eating 200 calories? Maybe. Damn, 500 calories for the loaded is serious. What are they loading it with, man? Mashed potatoes, 220. And... Six ounces, 250. Yeah, I mean, but you know what's... But the problem here is that Amber is used to going to restaurants and getting the appetizers, getting the dessert, getting the full course meal, right? So when you see Amber going to the restaurant and she's ordering this, I'm sure in the moment she thinks she can do it. But the problem is when you've conditioned yourself through years and years and years and years of eating really, really high calorie counts of foods and a lot of different, uh, you're eating a lot of foods on the plate, this is very disconcerting because now you're switching up your diet completely. You're only eating like a piece of steak and some mashed potatoes as opposed to the steak, mashed potatoes, maybe another steak on the side, some green beans, the, the dessert. You're eating the appetizers, which was probably like, and you know, the plate is full. And when you transition from eating all the food to limited amounts of food, it's going to be quite jarring for most people that especially don't have the experience to, I don't know, counter all the hungers and, and things such and so forth. It's like an addiction. So... If you, if you smoke like a million, I don't know, like let's just say like you smoke 18 joints in a day and then suddenly you go down to five, you're going to really feel that because you've been smoking 18 joints every day for your entire life basically. So when you go down, it's going to be quite jarring for you. So I'm not saying that Amber can't do it. I'm sure if she put in a little bit of elbow grease or something, whatever you want to call her elbows, but I'm sure she can do it. But the problem is like I've seen her not do it and that's a problem and I don't think that even though she can do it, that doesn't mean that she's going to. By the way, a can of green beans at the grocery store for me, I buy like the packs of like 12, you know what I'm talking about? Like so three, 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 whatever. I buy those for $4, $4 for a can of green beans, dude. You know how many calories green beans? Not much, not much, dude. I guess, oh, I can open up the can of green beans. Sometimes I like to pretend I'm like in a zombie apocalypse and you don't have access to clean water because you're in a zombie apocalypse. So naturally, where the hell are you gonna get clean water from? So I like to suck down the juices in the green beans too, just to like emulate it. You know, if I was in like a zombie apocalypse, this is what I'm going to have to do. I need as much nutrients as I possibly can. So I'm going to suck down the juices as well. But then, um, you know, quickly I look at my, you know, I come back in my room and I see the piles of maple syrup and I'm like, okay, yeah, obviously I'm not, in a, you know, a zombie apocalypse. But even still, sometimes it's cool to like emulate that. Kind of like if you're like late at night, if you're a woman, you might not be able to relate to this, but when you're, when you're late at night and you don't want to like wake anybody up even if nobody's in your house you just kind of whip out it you know whip it out you look around real quick you don't turn on the light because if you do then somebody's going to hear you or see you so you look around and then you whip it out and then you pee on the side of the bowl so it doesn't make a noise and the water you know what i'm saying just cascades off the bottom and then obviously the stream slows down so it's gonna hit the water so you gotta like kind of you know jump into it a little bit to to ensure that when the when the liquid hits the side it doesn't like stop the flow and it doesn't hit the water so you gotta like go into it a little bit further to try to 
counter that. You know what I'm talking about? It's also something that guys do when you have an erection. Um, when you're peeing, it's something that every guy has to do. And I'm quite skilled at peeing with an erection and without an erection, obviously. And sometimes I don't even need to hold it. Sometimes like hold it as in like I'm not physically touching it. So I just kind of go like this. I just let it free ball. I'm just walking in like this, letting it. And then I obviously have to jump into the bowl to try to ensure that I don't pee on the floor or whatever else you're going to pee on. Anyway. This is very berry hibiscus refresher from Starbucks. Mm. The licking of the lips right before. So good. I feel like I should. Does anybody ever like when you? I know I do this too, right? Does anybody ever when they take a sip of a cap of something? Because like, look at this, right? I mean, you can't see it right now, but let me move my camera real quick. Do you see how it's like the cap, right? This cap right here. Does anybody ever think? Does anybody ever think? Okay. I know that somebody slid their dick across the top of this or it fell on the floor or whatever else you think about. Because sometimes I think about that when, I, uh, when I'm when i in like an establishment or something like that. Uh, do you guys think about that? Sometimes I think like, has this been on the floor? Has somebody sat on it? Has somebody slid dick across it? I don't know. Sometimes I think about like, what am I really putting my lips on? But then I realize probably not. I got venti. This is grande. It's this so is much better. Oh, Eric, that's so, it's so much better, dude. Yeah, venti as opposed to grande. So much better. It's only 70 calories. 70 calories, huh? 70. You know how much it could actually be? Go, here, here, do me a favor, okay? Go on Amazon and buy yourself some of these Celsius packets, okay? And just throw them into your water. It's going to taste so much better if that's what you want. Water in and of itself is good in my mouth, organically speaking. I love the sensation, the flavor, and the taste of water, room temperature water. I know I'm a bitch. I don't like cold water. My teeth are sensitive or my mouth is sensitive or I'm just making up excuses to not drink cold water. But you don't have to drink your calories. You don't have to. I think those packets are like five calories per, which is really not that much for what you're getting out of it. And if it encourages you to drink more water, then that's great. That's really great, matter of fact. Too many people spend their entire day drinking away hundreds, if not thousands of calories easily. I knew a dude that used to drink cups of orange juice in the morning and he would literally take those cups and he would just pour out another one pour out another one he would drink two or three at the end of the day and i remember each cup was easily 200 calories this man was eat, drinking 600 to 800 calories every single morning didn't think any wiser of it because he, in his mind orange juice like what are you talking about orange juice is great for you people have told me that orange juice is good for you for my entire life how can me drinking four cups of vitamin d baby that is fine, but you can get vitamin D from other things like multivitamins. This guy was drinking so many calories. And I remember when I told him like, hey, you just drank like 600 calories. He didn't even know what a calorie was or like how to even add that into what he was supposed to be eating in a day because he didn't even know what that was. So, I mean, again, it's like ignorance. But for somebody like Amber, she understands nutrition. She's been on diets. She understands what calories are. It's really sad. Because in his scenario, the guy that I'm talking about, he was at least ignorant. I can forgive ignorance because if you don't know, how are you going to know? For somebody like Amber to know and then also ex execute, that is really sad. That's it. 70 calories. It could be zero. And then... Which is one of the things that you should do, by the way. If you're, if you're trying to lose weight, what you should most definitely do is not drink your calories away and, and also consume a lot of liquids like water. For breakfast, I decided to actually eat, you know, right when I woke up. I woke up probably hour, hour and a half ago, but I usually wait longer than that. I don't know why Amber feels like this is something you even need to outline. Nobody questions whether or not you eat, Amber, and nobody really cares when you do it either. It really doesn't matter, especially when you're in the 500s. I mean, 520 and you're literally going like, uh, I don't really eat in the morning time. Uh, do you think that matters? Do you, like, I don't look in. Dude, if you went an entire week and you didn't eat, but then at the end of that week, you ate like 40 billion calories. You think anybody would look at that and go like, oh, yeah, obviously you're doing the wrong. Oh, I'm so sorry, Amber, that you didn't eat in the morning time. Nobody, nobody looks at it like that, Amber. Only you look at it. You have these like weird ways of trying to mitigate the fact that you are so incredibly obese and you do it in the like the. The absolute insanest ways. What do you, why does it matter that you didn't eat this morning and now that you're eating in the morning? Do you think it's gonna be somehow better? You're 520. That's not, that, that doesn't matter. So this is a, okay, I don't wanna get it wrong. And by the way, going to fast food to get a breakfast is crazy, okay? It's all right every once in a while. Maybe when you're out, you didn't have time to create breakfast in the morning because you had to leave really, really early, or you just 
didn't have the time. Like you just didn't think that you were going to be able to, you didn't think that you were going to leave in the morning. So you just came out of nowhere. You had to go. So you go to Mickey D's or you go to, I don't know, Dunkin' Donuts. That's all I really got around where I live. So you go to those places, right? And then you get something there. But if you know you have the option to, like, what is Amber doing all day, bro? Can we just be honest for a second? What is she doing? Sitting down, ordering Uber Eats, scrolling through TikTok, making thirst traps on TikTok? I don't fucking know. You have tons of, you have time, tons and tons and tons of time. Instead, you waste it by going to or ordering Uber Eats and ordering whatever this is, a glorified Hot Pocket. So I'm gonna look it up, hold on. This is a spinach, feta, and cage-free egg. It's just a Hot Pocket. It's a glorified Hot Pocket. White wrap this is 290 calories so it's literally you could have gotten way more out of it i mean it's not bad i don't know but are you going to be satiated by the end of this probably not how many eggs can you eat in this how many how many more how much more food can you put into this just spinach feta and egg whites so it's not just do a little taste test because i don't remember ever trying this before so so why does it matter damn Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, fuck it. I knew it, dude. It's just a hot pocket. Like it, that's all you're eating. You're just eating somebody. What? Well, you know, look. I get it. There's a novelty to eating out. There is. But Amber, you can't you can't just keep doing this shit. How many how many times have you gotten through the entire day and you needed a reason to order fast food so you came up with a reason to order fast food it shouldn't be this easy for you amber needs to real deal go through her phone delete the, the, the delete the delivery apps she needs to put her phone on like parental mode or something like that have an inability to go on these apps and even have the ability to download it at all what does she got an iphone i don't fucking know go to the apple store and tell them to lock that shit because there's no intake of what amber doesn't drive right so I, I I don't even know it. She ain't walking to fast food. That's a hundred percent. So I don't know. Just get rid of the delivery apps. Get rid of people in your life that are gonna enable you. That's one hundred percent what that is. The delivery apps, the people around you that are okay with you eating out like this, are enabling you. And I know it might sound really crazy to say that because Becky's involved, right? Enabling. It is what it is. Okay. Sometimes you enable people because you're lazy and you don't want to look at the. You don't want to actually put in the work to talk about or go through the problems with that other person because it is harder to go through the issues. It is harder to talk about the problems than it is to just not even think about it and just go, oh, you want to eat out? Fine. Whatever. It's way harder for somebody to go, hey, you want to eat out? I don't think you should. I think that it's probably not a good idea to go eat out, given the fact that you're 520 pounds, Amber. It's not a good idea to eat out at the size that you are. You are dying. And for what? A glorified Hot Pocket and a seven-calorie pink drink is not worth it. It's not worth it, Amber. But if you need a reason, you're going to find a reason. And it is enabling her, 100%. And this is why I always think that Amber should not be in a relationship, or at least she shouldn't be in a relationship for a long period of time until she can hear her, heal her relationships in general. She She's too... She's the type of person that latches onto another person and like completely becomes them. And I really feel like Amber is the type of person that would run all over and somebody that was like not weak willed, but somebody more passive. And if, when you're in a relationship with somebody, um, maybe you're OK with somebody that's a little bit more passive, somebody that's going to maybe listen to what you have to say. And then, you know, maybe they do what you want because they don't want conflict in their life. And that's fine. If that's what you want and you want to date somebody that's passive, that's great. For somebody like Amber, she needs somebody that's going to push back. She needs somebody that's going to tell her no. She needs somebody in her life that is going to be able to say the things that she doesn't want to hear. And too many times she finds herself in scenarios where that's not something that happens. And somebody says, okay, and that's all right. And these people are not the people for her. And she wastes too much time because she ends up gaining weight. I mean, she was literally at a point in her life where she was so fat, she couldn't even remove herself from the bed to wash herself. And somebody else had to come in and cleanse her body, AKA Becky. Wow. It's, it's, I don't know this why. so good. Amber always does this shit as if it means anything at all. Like, oh, it's so good. Amber, it's a fucking Hot Pocket, dude. Like, your taste buds got to be obliterated off your tongue if you think the shit tastes good. It doesn't matter how many it tastes good moments you need in your life. How many times you need that? You do, Why do you need it so often, by the way? For me, I'm I with eating some bread, you know? Like, I'm okay with sacrificing some delicacies if I know it's going to be more nutrition. And then, you know what's really interesting? Is that you can actually flavor up food if you make it yourself. And for Amber to look at this food and be like, oh my God, it's too easy for her. Like, do not use your kitchen at all with the exception of the times that you make ramen noodles when you like completely obliterate it with the seasoning salts. Like, get over it, dude. 
licking your fingers in, is insane, dude. How, how many more calories do you think you can get off this? I feel like I would not be able to make this this good because... It doesn't matter if you can t make it this good. It's not a justifiable reason to continue eating out. Every time I make egg whites, it just never comes out good. What do you mean? There's you you could just get egg whites from the store. They, 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 they're they in cartons. The subway calculator online. Licking the lips is serious, bro. You know your girl got a problem. You saw the way she was like subway calendar, the, the subway calorie counter. Ah. Never comes out good. There's a subway calculator online Yo. thank the lord so i'm gonna show you guys how many calories my food is i think this is really Yo, she was licking lips on that last look at her wiping her mouth wiping her mouth looking glazing down at the food bro I'm that's a girl that's a girl that has an addiction show you guys how many calories my food is look at the i think right this down. is really neat Let's see, can you guys see here? Why does she burden herself with this much information, dude? She's What she's trying to do is she's trying to mid-max when she hasn't even started yet. Like, I've seen this quite a bit where somebody is, like, really, really bad at a video game. And in order to improve their performance, because I see, I see this, right? They go like, oh, I don't know why you guys are so much better than me at Call of Duty or Fortnite or whatever. Um, and I have the same playtime as you. Like, I'm just worse than you in all these games. Like, why is that? And for me, it would be very easy to just say, you're not good at the game. And that's okay. Because not everybody's going to be good exactly at something that another person is going to be good at, right? That's okay. Some people just have natural ability. Some people just put in a little bit more work. Some people just have a natural affinity to these things, right? And... The solution I find for a lot of these people is to go out and buy things. And I see it all the time. Oh, I'm not good at this game, so what am I going to do? I'm going to buy a $400 headphones. $400 headphones that are going to improve my performance because I'm going to hear people before they hear me. And I'm going to spend $300, $400 on a new monitor because that's going to have a 0 0.4 millisecond delay. I'm going to buy the best GPU on the market, spend two, dollars $3,000 on a GPU. So that way my game can comp like 8,000 frames per second or whatever the fuck, right? And then you still suck dick. You were always just ass, and that's all right. It's okay to be ass. Not everybody can be good at everything, and that's all right. For somebody like Amber, in a situation where you're 543 pounds, why the fuck are you even going to these websites and looking it up? It shouldn't matter to this degree. What you should be doing is getting a broad idea of how much you weigh, getting a broad idea of how much you eat in a day, calorie-wise, and then weigh yourself. And if you lose weight consistently, then keep that up. You don't need to mid-max and go on these... This is a problem with her. Like, she goes too deep on this stuff when in reality she doesn't need to. She just needs to be practical and consistent. What's such a. She's out of breath from just being on the website. Good. So, if you guys are having a hard time seeing, I'm super sorry. I'm gonna be having a sandwich okay. and I'm gonna be having a foot long. I haven't ate yet today, so I'm like, yes. And I usually I don't care if you haven't ate yet, dude. That's not a reason to body slam thousands of calories. It's Italian herbs and cheese. So automatically, just by putting that in, we're at 480 calories. Crazy. So the meat that I use is rotisserie chicken. Rotisserie chicken. She's going too far. Style chicken. That already brought it up to 720. Crazy. But the rest of this should be pretty low calorie depending on how much they put it's already i use provolone oh, cheese for veggies i get onions lettuce you can pack on onions dude onions are bro people sleep on onions dude they have no, almost no calories and you can throw so many on there and we're gonna get me some olives yes there we go for some reason my eyes weren't seeing that I like mayo, but I'm not going to be adding any, and I have no extra. So that's literally everything that I'm having on my sandwich. And okay, so it comes up to 820. For a sandwich, I mean, maybe it's not too bad for some people, but for our girl, who we know is going to eat four, five, six, seven times a day, it's it's too much. It's too much. You can get way more out of that 820, and I feel like that's something that people sleep on. Is like 820 to a lot of people isn't a lot of calories. It's not a lot of calories in the, in, the, in, the, in the correlation to how much you can food you can get out of it, right? How many fruits, how many vegetables, how many meats, how many goodnesses that you can get out of that. That came out to 820 calories since I'm getting a foot long. That means for half of it is- the only foot long she ever got, huh? Six inches, which will only be 410 calories. So if I eat half now and half later, that's like perfect. Or I can eat the whole thing now, boo-boo. The licking of the that's lips is flavorful. crazy. Damn. Mm. So we both got a grande lemonade. 
That's crazy, bro. That shit gotta be dripping. You're not pulling out, man. I don't know what anybody says, bro. I remember one time I was a cashier and there was this black lady that was at my register, right? And I was like, I don't know what I rang up for her. It doesn't matter, right? And she was like, how much is it gonna be, baby? And I was like, oh, it's, uh, I don't know, it's like $28 or something like that. She was like, mm, hold on, I forgot my wallet. And then she was like, she just reached in, raw money, pulled out raw money, okay? 20s and hundreds out of her, I don't even know if she was wearing a bra. I don't know. She pulled them out and this shit, right? She whipped out a 20 and a 10. She gave me that shit. It was moist. That shit was wet. That shit was literally drippy, bro. And I put it in my hand and I felt like it was kind of, there was kind of like a, I don't even know what you want to call it, dude, like glue almost. It was like, there was a residue. There was like um, a symbiote on on the money and obviously i didn't say anything because i've dealt with a lot of things that were disgusting in my hands so it's really not that big of a deal right it's not like i was going to touch the money and be like, uh, mm. i'm not going to do that obviously so i took the money and i put it in my register gave her her like one dollar and some change back and then i went up to the manager desk and i just like hand sanitizer my hands but uh i've seen it before dude that money in in between your breast cleavage whatever you want to call it dude um, it's not always the most sanitary spot, and not many people want to receive money from that particular area unless you're a lady of the night, which is fine. If you're a lady of the night, probably it's probably a little bit more appealing to have a woman pull out money out of her cleavage area or maybe some other appendage of her body. I don't know. Like, it's like a magic trick if you're like a woman of the night. Like, hey, guess what? $100. Like, oh, that's really cool. I don't know. For certain people, it might be a little bit better. If you're really, really overweight, I know it's going to have a little bit more flavoring on it or it's going to be seasoned up in an improper way. For like somebody like Amber, dude, oh man, that phone gotta be, oh man, that phone gotta be smelled like some Chernobyl. Calories on this is so low. Hold on. Uh, 110 calories. I got two unicorn pops. They're 160 oh. calories. 160 each. calories for a lollipop. Amber. Amber. <sighs> Amber. Is that really what we want to do with our lives? Like, you just had a drink that was 110, and you're having a pop, a, a, a pop, right? These, 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 that are a lollipop that's 170 calories each. See, this is the problem. It's too easy to have these. Like, what is even in this? What are you even sucking on? Each. Ugh, so worth it. My girlfriend's gonna. They're not fucking worth it, dude. 170 calories for a lollipop is insane. I have some of one. So Some of one? Excuse me? What are you going to be sucking on the rest? Calories each. Ugh, so worth it. My girlfriend's going to have some of one. Some of one. Does that mean that you're going to be sucking on that shit more than she does? I'm sorry. Do you share lollipops? Do you? Is she going to get a lick real quick and then you're going to be smunching on that shit for the rest of it? Is that what I'm hearing? So, huh, I'll be taking off the calories on that regard. She got the um, turkey pesto sandwich situation type deal. That's usually what I get too, and I was going to get it. Um, but I really wanted the impossible sandwich, which was also less calories by like 100. So. It doesn't matter. You're literally about to body slam two lollipops that your girl's only going to be able to get a lick of that are going to add up to what? What is that added up to? Uh, 300 and... 40 calories? 7, 7 is 40. Yeah, 340 calories. You know, what does it matter? It shouldn't matter, Amber. I don't give a fuck if it's an impossible uh, impossible sandwich or whatever. It shouldn't matter. You're literally about to body slam 340 calories of a lollipop. Let that sink in. This doesn't matter. Oh. I mean, since I was getting the cake pops, I was like, Ugh. so... This is 420 calories. It's it not enough cheese. food. Like, what she, like, think about how she's setting herself up for failure. She's eating 340 calories of what are basically just lollipops. You know that's not enough food, right? Like, eating the two lollipops plus the sandwich. This girl is used to eating some crazy high-calorie foods. A lot of foods at that as well. So, if you're only eating these two things, right? And that's all you're eating for hours at a time when you've been used to eating potentially like, I don't even know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 things that are going to fill you up because the amount of food that you you're used to eating is nothing in compar is this food is nothing in comparison to that. So when you eat this food, what you're actually doing is you're just giving yourself another excuse to 
binge or have a, a, a extraordinarily high amounts of food because this is never gonna be enough for somebody like Amber. Eggs, eggs, <laughs> there's just one egg, I'm assuming. Get your- Roto, I know, yeah. baby girl. And um, obviously the impossible sausage, which is Dude, get your cat meatless. on the table. Obviously. Okay, so from Chick-fil-A, I got a diet soda, caffeine-free. I got... How can you just be maintaining at around 500, 500 pounds is insane, dude. It shouldn't be this easy. It really shouldn't be. A mac and cheese, which is like 400. I really think that having money is like a big problem for these people because if they didn't have money, I feel like they just wouldn't be eating out as much as they would. But maybe that's not a case either because you can get a lot of really, really cheap, disgusting foods as well. I don't know, dude. I just like, I'm trying to think of every reason why Amber is the way that she is. Obviously, there's some mental problems there. Nobody that is sound of mind is going to be maintaining 500 pounds consistently throughout their entire life. That's obviously not something that people are going to do. But the fact that she has, like, she's willing and able to eat out as much as she is, this girl's probably eating out more than I have in my entire life. And she does it so consistently. I think that actually might be a low ball. I think she's probably eating out more than I've ever eaten in my entire life, like, multiplied by, like, 9 or 10. Easily, dude. Because I don't, I don't eat out very often. But this girl seems like every video, she's eating out at least once or twice a day. 150 calories. And then I got this chicken wrap, which is 350 calories without the dressing. But but I got a different dressing, which I might use. You know the whole you, thing is 90 calories. You know you're going to use that. You know you're going to put that shit on it. Don't lie. But I have a feeling even if I do use it, I will barely touch it. So just throw it away. Currently, I just have it logged for 45 calories. So we're waiting for, um... That is, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. The pomegranates that she got laying around her neck, that's not it, sis. Her brother. Water is good. I'm just eating some chips and salsa. Terrible. Terrible. Terrible! Yo. Damn. What's that? Oh my god. We also got a cheese dip. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Which is pretty tasty. It's just cheese, right? <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh man. It's just Amber's Amber's a different type of specimen, dude. Anytime I like look at Amber. I just keep thinking, like, how many excuses does one person need to stay at the weight that they are, dude? I don't care how good food tastes. How the fuck are you justifying being 500 pounds consistently? That is crazy to me. That is, like, the fact that it, all it is is just cheese, right? It's just cheese and chips? Why does it matter, bro? Is it really that big of a deal? Like, I've been in scenarios before when I've looked upon food and I'm like, I really want to put this shit in my mouth right now. I really, a real deal, just want to grab a hold of this shit, double stack it, throw it between my mouth cheeks, and then just body slam it deep in my throat. But I'm not going to do that because I know that it's not really worth it for me. And maybe it's just me. Maybe I don't see it from the perspective that Amber is seeing it. Obvious fucking leak. But it's too, too, I feel like from everybody looking from the outside looking in, this is some serious problem. The fact that she is able to maintain and not see issues with the fact that she's so... You can't see me. But she can't. She doesn't see issues with the fact that she's so incredibly massive. And it's only negatively affecting you. For some food? For food, dude? You know, for all of time, too, we never had enough food. People were consistently starving. And this is like for all of human history, right? You had to work very, very hard to get the food that you even had to eat in general. And you were probably not even eating consistently. So there's that. And then also, we're living in a time period where food is very, very abundant, which is not something that usually ever happens, right? Like in the circumference of humanity, this is quite rare. How the fuck are you going to take advantage of it to such a degree that you weigh 500 pounds year in, year out? So. Yeah. Today's the first day that I did not take that pill because of what it was doing to me. Still counting calories. I can eat whatever I want. Counting calories. That's true, but it's like the worst way of doing it. Because 
a lot of people work under the assumption that all calories are the same, when in reality, they're really not. You can most definitely maximize the amount of calories in certain portions of food compared to other certain por portions of food. Like, I'll give you a really good example. Here, chips are terrible when it comes to calories because you should be trying to maximize the amount of nutrients from one particular calorie source compared to another, right? At least when you're eating like this, when you're in a deficit, you should be looking for the most possible out of the food. But for somebody like Amber, where she's like 500, 500 pounds, you should most definitely be doing that. I don't know why she's looking at it as like, a, oh, I can eat whatever I want as long as I'm in the calories. Like that'd be fine for somebody like me or you, because like if you don't need to reach a certain calorie portion in the day, or maybe you're just having a fun time or whatever, then it's probably not that big of a deal. But for somebody like Amber, who is like literally chilling at 500 pounds, she should be looking at trying to maximize the calories as much as she can. Like chips are low, chips are so high calorie and they give you literally nothing in terms of nutrients. I have logged my calories for my next meal in my fit my fitness pal. I am having Chick-fil-A. So I got a Diet Coke. How do we know his diet? Show us the receipt. Show us the receipt on the app real quick. Throw up a screenshot. Download the PDF real quick. Okay, in your editing software, throw up that throw up that the 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 receipt. You can you can blur out the credit card information and stuff like that. Zero calories. For somebody like Amber, she needs to be held accountable. She really needs to be held accountable. Like people need to sit there and critique the things that she eats because otherwise she's just going to keep caving. She's going to keep caving. And that's the reason why you see nowadays, right? She doesn't really show off what she's eating. She doesn't really show off weigh-ins. She If she does, it's very few and far between. And the reason for that is because she knows that if she does do those things, people are going to call her out for that. And that's probably the best thing for her, dude. Um, or it could just be, don't even show it at all. Like literally get off the internet. It could be one or the other. I got an eight piece of their nugget, which is 270 calories. And then I got a medium um, mac and cheese. Which always, is so always got the mac and cheese, dude. A mac and cheese girl. Freaking delicious. And that is 450 calories. So 450 calories. Can I look at that real quick? For that little ass fucking thing of uh, uh, mac and cheese, that's 450 calories? Damn, um, Amber. Mac and cheese, which is so freaking delicious. I don't care how good it is. 450 calories for some mac and cheese is not worth it. And that is 450 calories. So this meal is 720. Terrible. If I decide to use a honey mustard, oh. I didn't look up how many calories that would be, so. I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter at this point, though. It really doesn't matter, man. If you're body slamming, almost 500 calories worth of mac and cheese and that little ass little tub of uh actual macaroni and cheese that's that, that's terrible it doesn't matter you might as well just douse everything you're everything you're eating right now in whatever whatever condiment sauce that was like do that together barbecue sauce um whoops okay so. you gotta you gotta like you, you, you don't want to be awkward, so you got to start saying random, um, hmm, uh, in the middle of when you're, when you're talking, so that way you don't, so you have, don't have dead air. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Honey mustard usually is, like, pretty low calorie. Says who, bro? By what metric, dude? Are you, what? No, it's not. Like, maybe compared to, like, mayonnaise. <laughs> um, it's not, like, horrible. Uh, okay, so it's 45 calories. Yeah, that's for one fucking of these. crazy. So I'm just gonna log it as I'm gonna have one. Oh yeah, uh, you just said you don't. You she just said she didn't know if she was gonna have one, but she saw the number. She was like, "Fuck it, I might as well have a lead. I might as well have one." Um, I'm probably not gonna eat the whole thing. So, so I know there's a lot of people. Damn, who 550 is crazy, bro. Watch me who are on diets. So, um, I want to tell you how many calories. I think people that are watching you are not there to count the calories, if that makes any sense. Like, nobody's watching Amber, like, thinking about how... <laughs> there, nobody's watching Amber as, like, motivation. Like, oh, Amber is so good at counting calories. This is exactly what I... No, nobody's doing that. What they're actually doing is they're using Amber as, like, a thank God I'm not this size. Thank God I don't have the problems that Amber has with the food consumption that she does. That's the reason. Like, fat spo or whatever it's called... That's the real reason. It's not because people are using you as like a motivation device because you know how to count calories so well. It's the opposite. It's because you don't know how to count calories so well. My food was... Okay, my phone is loading so slow. Like, what is happening right now? Mm. Damn. They're dancing for that food, bro. That like little... Yeah, dude, I'm getting some food. So good. <laughs> it's not that good. So the... There's not... 
it's fine to enjoy your food. You should enjoy your food. It's great to enjoy your food. But to the extent where you're starting to dance when you're eating the food, how often are you eating food, Amber? Can we just talk, let's talk for a second? You got to be eating what? Three, four, five, six, seven times a day. And then each one of those meals is like six, seven, eight, nine hundred calories, maybe even more. Because I've literally seen her say that she's eating like 8,000 calories a meal at some point. So I wouldn't even be surprised if it was like a lot of food, right? Why are you dancing for, I don't even know, like a wrap? It's not that, it's not. Stop, stop, Amber. This is why people think you have an issue. Eight count of the nuggets is what I got. Oh, you got nuggets with this too? I mean, I'm not even surprised, dude. What am I talking about? I thought it was just the wrap. Nah, dude, it's never enough for our girly. Can somebody let me know, please, in the comments? Are these uncomfortable to wear? I feel like they'd be brushing around my neck, or I guess with somebody like Amber, I guess it's like a chin. I suppose. I don't know. You know, there's another thing. Like, I can't even imagine not having a neck uh, or like an extra chin somewhere on my body. Or maybe you don't even know where your face starts or your face ends. For things like that. And for somebody like Amber, too, to be thirst trapping. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Amber Lynn's TikTok page. But our girl be thirst trapping consistently all the time. And <laughs> it's so interesting when I see Amber thirst trapping because it's like you're over 500 pounds. Like, who is looking at this and going like, oh, yeah. Oh, Amber looks so good. Oh, damn, Amber, you got me wet and wild. Got me wetter than an African child during typhoon season, dude. Got me hung like an African tree cobra. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, who's doing that? Who's doing that, dude? Nobody. And if they are, they're weird. Is 130 calories. Very low. That's why I love it. It doesn't matter. Why do you care? You're 550. What are you talking about? This is why I love it. You love it because that shit tastes good in your mouth. Um, and this yeah. with no sauce oh. is 350. Such a good job, Amber. Oh my God. No sauce? Wow. So. Oh, wow. Very, very good filling, low calorie meal. She says a lot of words and they ultimately mean nothing because I know that she's just going to body slam a whole bunch of... Are you eating on like a Tupperware? What is this, like a tote? Are you eating like, like a weird tote? <sighs> Damn. Imagine how much, imagine how much like, I've, I've talked to people before that have like really bad problems with weight. And they always tell me they have back problems, knee problems, joint problems. But I don't really ever hear Amber talking about her issues. I wonder if she's just being ambiguous so she doesn't lead people on to believe that she has all these problems when I know she's obviously having these problems. Like, you can't lie to me. When you're 550 and you've been 550 for like, you've been in the 500s. Amber's been in the 500s for like almost a decade at this point, right? How is it? That you're not having problems. I know you are. Okay. What are your bones made out of like adamantia themselves? No, they're not. You're, you're, the joints are probably suffering tremendously day in, day out. And Amber, I guess, is just not trying to talk about those things because she knows if she does. And it's just more fuel for the fire when it comes to people. And you know what's really interesting? For somebody like Amber who's like on social media, she should be held accountable. Because like, bro, you have people that want to see you grow. Not like that. People that want to see you grow. People that are like real deal invested in you. And it's just so sad seeing Amber in this state because she could, she is capable of so much more. And I know she is. And I want to see Amber when I'm 85. I want to see her. How old is she? Like 30 something years old. I want to see her that she should be around my same age. Man, that's crazy, bro. Because Amber, I've always looked at Amber as like a person that kind of reminds me of like an older grandmother in a way, you know? Like she seems way older than me when I know she's not. Mm. I'm so <laughs> I've said that like a hundred times. It's just food. So. Damn. She's looking under the box like, is there any left? <laughs> what you doing, Amber? It's only like 300 and something calories. Only? Only, huh? All right. This is a little higher. What is it's that? It's like seven. <laughs> Which is hard to believe because it's just. What is it? I think what holds the calories is definitely like because it's breaded. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Mm. You know, when you're this weight and you're seeing a girl going eating fast food, you do you not get depressed? Like, I feel like I get, you know, looking at Amber eating the way that she is, it's tough to not get depressed. You know, like she's she's 543 pounds here and making videos for the Internet eating Burger King. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. 
Shut up, dude. It's not real. You're not closing your eyes like it's a romantical kiss under the moonlight. Dude, you're like the fucking skyscrapers behind you. The lights are glaring, whatever, dude. Amberlynn just closing her mind. Out. What, what even is this? Like, deep fry. You got, you got still, you got some species on your mouth from the last thing you just body slammed. What is this? Deep fried cheese? Is this mozzarella sticks? Let me real, let me look at this one more time. Oh, damn, that's just the last one. So, you know, I got to embrace it fully, like in the same way that you would embrace your wife or your husband. And they've been away for like a month or two, you know, and like they've been on that long journey doing that. And you want to embrace them. Give them that nice big hug. Close your eyes when you kiss, right? Amber does that when she's body slamming deep fried cheese. Damn. It's not that good. What is that? It's Burger King, dude. Is nobody ever looked at Burger King and thought this is like the bee's knees? I, I feel like if you presented this to a peasant back in like ancient Greece or whatever, right? The plebeians, they would look upon this with disgust at the amount of like grease upon it. Mm -hmm. sure. I just spent the last <laughs> forever, forever. Like it's been probably a good 35 minutes. I've been researching calories on vegetable lo mein <laughs> why and i am like so happy dude you're 556 like it really doesn't matter at this point dude like just eat less food man that i figured out how many calories are in vegetable lo mein because i am craving it and i'm going to have it and i'm going to count my calories and i love that you can lose weight eating whatever you want as long as you're under your calories. Like, that's, that's great. But it's bad, Amber. It's great in the sense of, like, you can do it. And that's awesome. Like, it's possible. That's great. But it's not great for somebody like you who should be maximizing the nutrition as much as they possibly can. And also be maximizing the amount of food they indulge into their mouth. You can do a lot with, I don't even know how many calories she's eating in a day. Probably, if I'm being honest with you, if she's maintaining 550, she's probably eating, like, 5,000 calories a day. No joke. So, if she was eating, let's say, like, 4,500. I mean, that's a fuck ton of calories for like literally 99.9% .9 of the entire human population. You could do a fuck ton with that amount of food, dude. Do you know what you could make? You could literally just throw away calories at that level. But you shouldn't, given the fact that you're probably still like, it's probably still like, you're probably still eating a lot of food at that level. She can do so much, yet she insists that she's not going to. And obviously, eventually, I'm going to lower calories and I'm going to- start Eventually, man. I just love the way that she thinks. It's like those people that go like, I'm gonna quit this drug one day. I remember I, I talked to a dude and he had like a serious drug addiction with weed, which I guess a lot of people wouldn't even consider drug addiction, but I would consider it a drug addiction given the fact that he was spending like, I don't even know, like thousands of dollars a month on it. I remember talking to him, I was like, bro, you have kids, you have, you know, you have a wife, you have car payments, you have this, you have credit card bills. Like, when are you gonna stop? And he's like, I'm gonna stop February of next year and then i was like bro it's march like that that's it that's like literally a year and some change away what are you talking about what what are you saying dude no D -d stop now stop now what are you talking about if you set a goal that far into the future you're never gonna reach it. it's unrealistic are eating healthier and incorporating healthier foods it's so small changes and it's always like i'm going to i'm going to it's never right now again i just want to say thank you to everyone who stood by me supported me messaged me yep. and gave me advice because i was stuck in such a place where it was true i only did want to eat celery because i felt so defeated what so here it is <laughs> the only reason why i got this is because i was craving it but eric uh, okay isn't that like every time you eat i only got this because i was craving it is literally the definition of this woman's life always gets this from a restaurant near us and i've never had it before from so? there the restaurant's okay, but he says that this is really good, so I figured I would give it a try. You, d just be honest with me for a second. You didn't, it doesn't matter if it tastes good or not. You're still body slamming that shit regardless. Let's just keep it a buck, Amber. You know it doesn't matter. You don't care. Food is food to you. Let's just be honest. All right, guys, um, that's it. That's the end of the video today. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you can do that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. If you are a member, I want to thank you especially. If you want to become a member, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the join notification. If you don't want to, that's fine too. But I want to thank you for becoming a member. You are an amazing person. I smell you every day and night. Even though that may be a little creepy, it's okay because our bond, our unique combination that we have together is not something that other people can understand. Um, they don't get 
what we have together, how we communicate on a superficial and I would even say as go as far as to say like a spiritual level on the beauty that you emanate and how I can, you know, if I ever want to hear you call, I always put the mustache and curl it up to hear your voice through the echo waves or whatever because just know I'm always listening, always listening. I'm always going to be there too, you beautiful, amazing person. Anyway, um, thank you everybody for being here today. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in water. I feel like it's something that Amber desperately needs to do more of is drink more water. That'd probably be a great appetite suppression. Um, probably caffeine too. I mean, I mean, let's be honest here for a second. I know a lot of people are concerned about the the death the the terribleness of caffeine and what it does to your heart. Listen, Amber, what do you think she's done to her heart in like the past 10 years? Like, let's be honest for a second, okay? Caffeine is probably the least thing she's got to worry about. Maybe that would be beneficial for her. Pick up some coffee or something like that. Because and I don't mean milkshakes. I don't mean like those coffees that you can get at Dunkin' Donuts or a thousand calories. I love ice spice as much as the next guy. But I'm not going to like go to Dunkin' Donuts in the honor of her name to buy a thousand calorie drink because I think her butt cheeks are at peak human being capacity. I'm not going to do that. But it doesn't matter. I personally think that you're a beautiful person. I want to kiss you on the forehead, smell your eyeballs, and glaze my glaze my entire eyeball sockets at you when you drink copious amounts of water because it really satisfies me in ways that I feel like you don't understand but we're not going to talk about how it satisfies me because it might be a little bit uncomfortable for you to hear the truth but anyway guys I appreciate you I love you I care for you enjoy the rest of your day guys peace it's raining